20 Gross Victorian Era Hygiene Trends The Victorian era lasted from 1837 to 1901. As Charles Dickens aptly wrote, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. The 1800s were full of technological and social changes. People were discovering and inventing new things almost every day, but things were still bleak in terms of personal hygiene. In this video, we will talk about 20 gross hygiene trends from the Victorian era. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and leave a comment telling us which decade from the Victorian era you would have liked to live in. The Victorian era is perhaps most well known for the first industrial revolution. Things were progressing rapidly thanks to the power of steam. However, the concept of personal hygiene was still almost non-existent, and the average person was unaware of how diseases were spread. Here are 20 gross Victorian era hygiene trends that are now, thankfully, not in fashion anymore. Number 1. People use eggs as a shampoo. The modern concept of shampooing only came into existence 100 years ago. In the 1800s, people cracked eggs over their heads, mixed the egg yolk in their hair, and washed it out with water or vinegar. Number 2. Urine as an antiseptic. In the 19th century, people believed that infections could be prevented with the help of urine. Got a paper cut? Just urinate on it, and you'll be fine. Number 3. Birds pooped in houses through thatched roofs. Most houses had roofs made of straw, which made it easy for things to fall through them. Their most common thing that fell into people's homes was bird poop. It often dropped on their beds. Number 4. Human excrements were dumped in moats. Every castle had a moat, a wide ditch surrounding the castle that contained water. It mostly served as protection from attacks, but it was also used as a dumping ground for feces and food. Number 5. Houses reeked of feces. People emptied their bowels into chamber pots, which they kept beneath their beds. These chamber pots remained uncleaned for a long time, which led to an entire house smelling like urine and poop. Number 6. Women often bled into their clothes during their period. There were no sanitary napkins back then. Women either had to use the same cloth to clean themselves up over and over again, or they just bled into their worn garments. Number 7. Women used onion juice to wash their hair. Ammonia was a popular hair product in the 19th century, but women often opted for onion juice because of ammonia's toxic properties. People believed it made their hair shiny. Number 8. Women were encouraged not to wash their private parts. Many women believed washing their genitals would make them sterile, so they never bothered to clean their bodies down there. Number 9. Groom of the stool. Kings in England had a person in court who wiped their butts for them. This job remained in existence from the 1500s to the Victorian era. Contrary to what people would think, this job was very desirable and was often given to sons of nobles. Number 10. Burnt toast with milk was used as makeup. People in the 19th century were obsessed with beauty, so much that they sometimes dipped burnt toast into milk and used that as liquid liner. Number 11. People often took baths in rat poison. Arsenic, a rat poison, was readily available at pharmacies, and in addition to being used in bathing, it was also used to treat male impotence. Number 12. People used charcoal biscuits and burnt bread to freshen their breath. This turned people's teeth black. People also used a paste made from ashes and honey, and ashes from burnt bread as toothpaste. No wonder dental problems were so common in those days. Number 13. The contents of chamber pots were thrown on the streets. It was common to hear the term garde lou in the streets of 19th century Edinburgh. People emptying their chamber pots, which were full of urine and poop, would shout garde lou, which means watch out for the water, before tossing the waste on the streets. Number 14. Lice were so rife that it often dropped into people's foods. This was so common that people in Scotland started wearing hats while eating to prevent it from happening. Number 15. Toothaches were cured by cigarette smoke. People believed toothaches were caused by toothworms. To make these worms disappear, people would have to fill their mouth with cigarette or candle smoke and then rinse it with warm water. Number 16. People rubbed sulfur on their faces to get rid of freckles. Freckles were considered ugly and people did all sorts of things to remove them. One of them included applying sulfur on your face. Number 17. Lemon was used as a contraceptive. Women often cut a lemon into half and inserted it into their genitals to prevent pregnancy. 
If you have ever applied a lemon on a wound, you know how much it hurts. Imagine how much more gross and painful it must have been to stuff it down there. Number 18. Burned herbs were used as toothpaste. Herbal toothpaste is pretty common even today, but you'd be insane to brush your teeth with burned herbs. Most people had lost all of their adult teeth by the time they reached their 20s. Number 19. Many house floors were made of straws, which were a breeding ground for bacteria. But of course no one cared about that, because no one believed microorganisms caused diseases. The top part of the floor was often placed, but the bottom part always remained dirty and full of bugs and bacteria. Number 20. Wigs were filled with lice and other bugs. When you look at all those pictures of Victorian era people with their long and stylish wigs, you can't help but be odd. You would be appalled to know that those wigs were almost always infested with lice and other infectious bugs. Now you know how much better the living conditions are in the 21st century. Science and medicine have come a long way. The germ theory of disease, which gained acceptance among the general population in the early 20th century, turned things around and paved the way for more progress in medicine. Which trend made your skin crawl? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends so they can understand just how disgusting people were in the 19th century.